absolutely necessary or extremely important. Anything that is absolutely necessary. Word? Essential. Hello everyone, it's Keith Gordon Tech Guy here with an essential video today and we're gonna look at none other than the essential phone which is now official. So yes, and the woman has finally given us the promise of the essential phone. It is now available and it has started shipping through carrier networks and stores. So for those of you who do not know any details on this phone fully, I am here to give you the information from their website. So let's look at the features and specs. Now here this is a statement on and we've been starting the company. You can read that if you want to but we're not here for the statement. But he did say it was to bring essential needs to mobility. And thus we have the essential phone. And so this phone uh, as it's that sh shown here that it has modularity and one of their main uh, modules will be the 360 camera which can record 360 video and also photos with up to resolution of 4K. So it's also the world's smallest 360 camera which is even smaller than the Model 360 model. And also it shows the dimensions of the camera and how they were able to get it and also it's dual 12 megapixels also both sensors for the f1.8 aperture and there are 16 gigahertz of wireless for studio USB and also there is the phone dock also which is a docking station to wireless recharge the phone and for those of you who have heard the spread about the Sanjo's phone design about it not only having a a bezel-less display but also titanium but you're wondering how they're able to achieve wireless charging well instead of going with the glass design and the work with titanium to give us wireless charging with the dock they use the magnetic connector something that nobody's actually ever thought of on a non-glass phone so the fact that you can get wireless charging with a more durable uh, mineral on the phone such as titanium I think it's a great idea and we'll see how that turns out in the future and also with titanium it's very durable as they show in the drop testing slow motion that the phone does not shatter as easily as most phones and here this comparison of some of the competitive phones like aluminum Aluminum is one of the biggest standards on other companies, but it can tend to get a bit scratches even though it does not break. But on the titanium, there's not a mark there even after one drop. And also it'll be available in some essential looking colors. I need to stop using that one. Black moon, pearl white, stellar gray, which will be available soon and Ocean Depths which will be available soon but currently Black Moon and Paul White will be available that you can you know when you're watching this video the full display also is that it's a big screen smartphone standard we all know that standard big screen for us it's a standard of 2017 and in this example here they're showing that this phone is the essential, essentially the size of the display on a tablet or a tablet so this the size of the display that you get on a full size tablet this essential phone could fill the display on a tablet or a tablet so the fact that you have a big screen in a small phone is amazing like i said if you're going if you're going to compete in with others compete with the right design so I am glad that the central is on board with Bezler's design. And also the camera is also dual lens with 13 megapixels on each lens, one colored and one monochrome also. Although it's not 
typically designed on a wide angle but you have optimized low light performance and you have better focus so with dual lens it may not be as wide as something like on the LG but it will be wide enough and you can take some stable low light photos and it looks pretty good here and the front facing camera also is 8 megapixels with capabilities of recording 4k from the front camera alone and you can also record 4k with the rear cameras also and here it shows the design of how they would be able to dine the phone it has a graphite uh, cooling system also in there as you would have noticed as you see there and with the titanium everything will stay in place so you can't expect anything to fall out of the display like previous phones that you know. Full specifications include the titanium body with a ceramic black, corner gray of glass covering the front glass, dimensions include a height of 141.5 millimeters, a width of 1.1 millimeters and a thickness of 7.8 millimeters. It will weigh 185 grams. Rear cameras include 13 megapixels dual RGB plus a secondary 13 megapixel monochrome in which sensing with true monochrome mode and it has an aperture of f1.85. It has hybrid out of focus contrast. You can record 4K at 30 frames, 1080p at 60 and 720p at 120 frames. So you can record up to 120 frames on this phone. The display will have a resolution of 2560 by 1312 which is quite HD with an aspect ratio of 19 to 10. Yes, that's an interesting aspect ratio aside from that of even the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So this is a very interesting aspect ratio. And not to only talk about that, there's a little cutting on the for the front camera also. But they were still able to achieve a wide aspect ratio and from seeing it in videos and so that a lot of apps take up the features of the aspect ratio. So it basically just stretches the app's design to the notification bar to give you a familiar look on what you would have had on a typical 16 by 9 aspect ratio but still you have a 19 by 10 aspect ratio so the science behind that is that most apps do not put black bars they try to adapt to this aspect ratio as a normal one you also have a 10 finger multi-touch with a fingerprint reader you have proximity sensor, ambit light sensor, etc. The phone has USB Type C and is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 835. And since this phone was it's the idea of the forefather of Android, this phone will be running on pure stock Android experience. Currently running on Android 7.1.1. And we can also expect to have Android O in the future with a Kiro 280 Octa-Core also and a 10 nanometer processor with Adreno 540 GPU and also you have 60 gigahertz with 6 gigabits wireless accessory speeds with 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of UFS 2.1 storage but no expandable memory but 128 gigs should be enough and also for pricing you can get it with a starting price of $700 from the center themselves and you can get it for $749 with a limited offer with the 360 camera but the original price would be $700 and you can buy it right now from the essential store so it's shipping out right now and you can add the extended care or 360 camera accessory and so that is it with the essential phone for today uh, tell me what you guys think about this phone in the comments like this video share it also and
and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one and have an essential day.